everything I said, and, and uh, I'm going to do it again. It's just there's the belts on the line, and I think he's uh, getting a little emotional without it. And, uh, I've kept my cool. I don't really have any ill will, but except for the fact when he's coming, you know, someone's going to take what what I've earned or what I've worked for. My whole life. That's what it comes down to. It. That's what it is every time. But it's really not, it's not about the man. It's about the, the obstacle. There's been one moment that's kind of shifted. Uh, not for me. Not for me. It's all been pretty cut and dry. Okay. Um, so, would you have stepped in for DC at 197 uh, if you weren't already booked? I'm not opposed to doing, you know, super fights, but as long as DC is champion, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going up to, to salt on his division. It's his thing. So, if he retires, doors open. Uh, you know, I don't know how they make interim title fights every time, you know, a fight falls out, but the guy's got to defend the belt, you know, to a certain extent, but I don't think every fight should be an interim fight, I mean, it's really, it's bullshit anyway. How would you like that? You're not a real champ, but you're an interim champ. How would you like Just make it a fight, make it a fight a fight. That's it. Do you have any, do you have DC any ideas about disputing Jones? <laughs> I've already went over that before. I'm not going to get into okay. it. DC's doing his thing. Okay. Uh, do you expect to face the winner of Jakar at Uh We'll see. We'll see who, how, how they perform. I think there's, there's some. I think there's some fighters out there, but you know, I think that's a very, very logical fight. As long as they can go out there and perform, it's all about performance. Before I get to the stars, recently, what video was that? Uh, they had, I had some calls and people asked me to come out and support and, and uh, Paige is a nice girl and I could go check it out. It was, it was awesome. Paige put on a great performance. Mark choreographed an, an amazing dance. I've never seen anything like it. The fight dance. It was a, it was a pretty thing to watch. Uh, last few. Uh, what's your reaction to the negotiated comment between Sada and Rivera? Uh, you know, people somehow keep slipping through the cracks of the, no matter what happens it seems like, right? Bad that doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's. I'd like to see a clean sport, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what, what, how it all plays out. But it's funny how that can happen. Contaminated supplements, contaminated, contaminated supplement. You're responsible for what you put in your body. And last fun one. Uh, central primary has been compared to That's a, that's a heavy comparison. Donald Trump's taking the presidential candidacy to a new level, so uh, I'm going to step off that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot. Luke, uh, you beat Chris pretty handily the first time. Uh, the motive? Beat him worse. So what was that? To go out there and put on a performance and stop and leave no doubt, leave no hope. I don't want I don't want anybody even thinking he can compete with I don't want anybody in the world thinking they can keep competing with him. You know, I'm out there to, you know, make a mark and beat these guys like no one else has and I think I've done that. Everyone I've beaten, I put on performances that no one can touch. Machida, Bisbing, Costa Filippo, I stood up and knocked them out. You know, I know nobody else would. It's like and Bisbing I first should submit him, knock him out and submit him, Machida, you know, and, and beat Chris. Never be. So that's that's what I plan on doing. That's what I want to do. I want to break records in the sport. And I want to make my mark and, and uh, have a short window. So I'm looking to stack as many belts and as many heads and as many chips as possible. On your um, appearance on Sports Center this morning, you um, said when Chris took you back in the first round, you called that a little bitch move. But I didn't catch why. Why what made that a little bitch move? Uh, it, it's a bitch move. I mean, the moment he jumped on my back, I knew I had him. I mean, the one area where he's supposed to be dominant is his wrestling. For him not to take me down, not to like try to horse me around there and, and play his wrestling, and him to jump on my back just felt weak. And I could feel like, you know, I was like, as a fighter, when, when some guy does that, it's just not really, the confidence isn't there. And, uh, that's, that's how I felt. That's how I engaged and, and, and dealt with that situation. And I, I immediately like relaxed and kind of grew confidence from that moment. Was was that your your biggest worry going into the fight? Was his wrestling? Uh, I guess. I mean, to see how how strong he would be and, and uh, what he'd be able to do. I, 
I really knew I would, I would control every aspect of the fight. I didn't see him being able to do that. It's a matter of like how good he would be on top. I didn't think he would do anything, I and mean, then he didn't do anything. You know, but uh, I thought he'd be able to be, be tougher off the start. I knew I would wear. I knew I would find the holes and, and find the openings and expose them. So I when just going through the situation that took you know that I went through to get to that fight. I, I was zapped. I, I really didn't have enough to. to have the output and the energy and the, and the strength that I needed and, and this time around I think it's just going to be so one-sided I'm going to go out there and I'm going to execute I'm going to, I'm going to put them away real early so this fight's going to be uh, your first under California's move weight cutting rules are you, are you familiarized with yourself with them I am familiarized too much you know I know you have like an 18 pound something like that is that what it, at least 18 pounds from uh, yeah I, I put on 15 pounds okay uh, I don't put on any more than that you don't see any type of draft change to be punched. No, I, I don't do extreme weight cuts. I mean, I, for, for, as a fighter, that 15 pounds is not that much. Sure. He's got, you've got 45 pounders cutting 20, 25 pounds. You know what I mean? I'm a bigger man cutting a lot less. I, I, people want to look at me like this big, huge guy, but I really don't walk around. I'm 205 right now. Sure. 205 pounds. I've been this way for a few weeks now, so I, I, I never really range above 210. I'm on my game. Do you believe weight cutting is the most dangerous part of the sport? No. Like, far from. <laughs> Getting punched in the faces. <laughs> well, yeah, I think I think training. I think, I think training. I think training is the dangerous, most dangerous part of the sport. I think it's about I mean, being conscious in the, in the training room and not getting into brawls, not taking unwarranted punishment. Um, that's that's where people hurt themselves for the for the long run and uh, not only just basic injuries but head injuries. It's like you can't go in there and just getting brawls with your teammates and, and uh, be specific when you get into the, the heavier sparring and, and be strategic with how you spar. Speaking of injuries, uh, your camp, um, you guys uh, came... People want to talk about our camp, you guys. We have a, the best camp in the world. We have all the top guys. So if anybody gets hurt, it's all going to come... But like, People get hurt in every other you know situation, but they're not all from one big camp like ours. Shut up. DC's never missed a fight. I have barely ever missed a, f a fight. Like, when have, I, when have I had to pull out of a fight? I, get, I make these fights. Whether I'm injured or not, I'm still fighting. I'm still winning. Do what I have to do. Kane, Kane is, gets some injuries, but, you know, it's a... Uh, people, people are fighting. I mean, it's just... We just come from the top camp in the world with a lot of the top names, and so it, there's a lot of focus. Anytime someone gets hurt, it's just people won't point the finger. But the thing is, we're the best camp in the world. And we got the best guys, and that's, that's the reason why that's happening. I'm on top of the world, now I'm